Now let's have a look at a scenario. Let's just paste the control panel URL that is index.php in another tab and hit enter and you can see it's accessible without being logged in. So we need to restrict the access on the control panel without being logged in. So here we need to work with sessions. Let's start session here and generate a session that will hold the any state active. As you know we have two types of users author and admin. So to create a new session here we need to know what is the role of this particular user that wants to log in for this we need to select role from users table so let's write role here and we also now now have to get this data out of this query to use it so just use mysql underscore fetch underscore assoc function and supply dollar qr that is our select query to it just store this result in a variable dollar row now just get the value of the role from this dollar row associative array put this in a variable dollar role now let's have a look at users table and here we'll have only one or two if it's one the user will be author and if it's two user will be admin let's get back to the code and we can place this variable dollar role instead of this one here and this will assign the value one or two automatically from db we can name this session role and that's it so now the session will be generated only if the users provided credentials match the recorded credentials and the field is active is set to two this role session will contain the value one or two from its concerned record then we shall use this session to restrict and permit this particular user to access on different areas of the website so to understand it simply you can think of this as two or maybe one. Now to develop permission scenario on index.php that is the control panel main page, let's declare an if statement here. So if the session role is not set and of course we need to start session at the top of any code. So if the role session is not set, then redirect this user to the login page and don't let this user even visit this control panel. So what we have done here is if in any case role session was not created that we are generating only if the user has cracked credentials and active the user will be redirected back to the login page. So this is all we need to restrict any user to visit this page who has not been logged in. Let's get back to the browser and here we are in control panel. Just refresh this page and you can see we have been sent out from control panel back to the login page because at the moment no session variable has been registered. Now let's try to log in using cracked credentials. Click login and here we have an error. Okay there is a spelling mistake let's just correct it and try to log in one more time just refresh it and we are in control panel as now the session variable has been registered